Hey, I'm Brad Page. I'm the head coach of Grants Pass High School Caveman Football. We're located here in Southern Oregon. I'm really excited and honored to be considered for the AFCA 35 under 35. The, being a part of the Coaches Association has been uh, really beneficial for me. I've learned a lot from other coaches, been able to network and uh, grow in all aspects of coaching. And so thank you for listening to this. Today, we're gonna go over uh, an offensive concept. Uh, it's our GY counter concept. So we have some players here who are gonna help us uh, run through that and show us how we, we're gonna show how we teach it. And then we have a play action flood concept based off of that counter too. And so we wanna get into that. And then after that, we'll get into some chalk time and look at some film from last season from running this concept. So thank you again for listening. I'm really excited to dig in. Born 12 personnel, we have two tight ends. Uh, so what we're gonna do is just kind of walk through our, our alignments, okay? So we have a four man front right here. Okay, we're gonna be pulling our backside guard. So backside guard, you're pulling, raise your hand. And our Y, raise your hand, okay? So we got a G and a Y counter. So what we're gonna do, these three front side players are gap down. So they have their gap down in case we get a blitz uh, or if we have a guy in our gap, okay? So you three guys take one step for me, show me your gap down, boom, boom, boom. Now, give me my guard pull. My guard pull is gonna kick out our end man, okay? Come up here, Braden. So if he comes up field like that, and then our Y is gonna follow in, and he's gonna be looking here for this inside backer. Ideally, we wanna seal this guy inside and make sure we can create a lane here for our running back. Now, if we get this and we don't get a blitz, these guys are gonna combo block here, double team, and they're gonna be working towards this backside backer, depending on how he goes, okay? Okay, let's reline up again. Let's talk about the backside backside right here since we're we're pulling this guy so he's leaving we got to make sure we don't get this gap blown up so when he pulls this tackle has got to make sure he gets his head across and nothing comes inside right here because it'll blow our whole play up okay and a good D, D lineman will see a puller and try to follow it so we got to make sure this guy's working really hard to get his head across this tight end's going same thing here this tight end's got to make sure to get his head across so we're we're fan blocking or we're inside out leverage and making sure nothing comes across our face and we create a nice a nice wall here. So when we do that, let's step through it, guys. Let's go through it. Let's uh, walk through our job right here. So just the linemen and the tight ends right now. Everyone else stay put, okay? Let's just walk through it on, on go, okay? Set, go. Good. Just like that, ideally. Now, if this guy plays, he overplays it. Our tight end doesn't need to try to work him in a way he's not going. We want to use his momentum against him. So if this linebacker comes flying up, then I'll just wash him outside. If, he, if I can't seal him inside, okay? We just wanna make sure we get hands on him and create enough of a lane for our running back. Okay, let's reset it, guys. So our receivers out here, since we're running to this side, their job is to block. In case we bump it out, they gotta get number one and number two and block. Our running back, we always start in the pistol because we don't want the defense to know which way we're going. And then if we set them, we're gonna set them to a certain side. So this, this particular case, we're gonna set him play side. This is nice because most run plays, defenses will think the running back's going opposite of where he's lined up, but we're gonna go play side. So let's show that footwork real quick, quarterback and running back real quick. Uh, ready to go. Boom, step, and then he's gonna follow that, that puller, okay? All right, so this is our GY counter. We're in our 12 personnel look. Okay, let's go ahead and go half speed, guys. Let's go half speed, run through it. Defense, just give me a decent look, okay? That's what we're looking for there. Running back has to have good vision to make sure he finds a good lane. We have to get a, create a good wall here front side. And as we pull, we are keeping everything tight, okay? So let's go through it full speed, guys, full speed. One more time. Good, good. Okay, so let's reset, guys. So now we have that play starts working really well. What we want to do is counter that with a play action pass. So we'll taught we'll get a blue call for our uh, for our linemen. That means they're not they're taught not to go downfield. That means we're going to run play action that same run play. Now the difference is when this this Y comes like he's pulling, he's fine. Go ahead and down down and pull. He's fine in a lane where he looks like he's gonna block like counter and then he's gonna leak to the flat. So he's gonna get about five yards out, 
somewhere there. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the same look front side from our running back and our quarterback. So let's go ahead and half speed through it, guys. Let's go blue bear back, half speed. Good. So what we'll do here, we come back. So what we're selling is, we're all we're still gap down, gap down, gap down. Now the puller, he's gonna kick this end. So when he comes here, Braden comes step up. When he comes, he can't go downfield. So what he wants to do instead of kicking him out, we want to work and kind of seal him because we're gonna boot the quarterback and he's got to protect the edge. When our running back goes in coming inside acts like he has the ball and then he's helping pick up any blitz or anything inside out so that our quarterback has time to get outside okay now our receiver side so what we're going to do here is we're going to have it's basically a flood concept so our z receiver outside he's going to do what we call a crack corner he's going to try to draw the corner and the safety inside like he's running up straight at the post and then he's planning and heading for the back corner of the end zone our H is gonna get the second level where he's gonna go about, he's gonna try to work inside out and get to 10 to 15. And then that gives us room for our Y, our tight end to leak out about five yards. So then we have three levels and it works perfectly for our quarterback to see all three of them at the same time. If we protect it well and we run it well enough on the run game, it should sell it so we can boot out and we, our quarterback has time to see whoever's open. He's taught to just read whichever one's open, he's gonna get it to as quick as possible. So. Blue bear back, okay, full speed. to take a shot on this play we want to take it but we're going to take whoever's open first so the quarterback is taught to read whichever one's open we're going to take it if we have longer down and distance and we got to take a shot then we'll take a shot uh, or if we have a second and short or something like that where we want to take a shot we'll do that otherwise he's taught just to get it to the right guy uh, whoever's open okay good job guys perfect thank you Hey, Grand Smith on three, one, two, three, Grand Good job, guys. Thank you. Appreciate you. Okay, so we're going to go over our uh, counter look here. This is out of bunch. And so we have uh, our two receivers inside here, and our tight end is off. This is an 11 personnel look. And so what we're going to do here is run counter away from the bunch and kind of uh, we'll watch it full speed through and then come back and break it down a little bit. see it turns into one of our bigger runs a good job so if we pause it here our guard doesn't does a good job we knew this team was real aggressive off the edge and our guard does a good enough job of chipping uh, this edge defender on the blitz and he comes in real over aggressive and it works to our advantage obviously we'd like to get a better kick on him but we're taught when we pull we Whichever direction we're pulling, we're going to hit with that same shoulder. So if we're pulling left, we want to hit with our left shoulder. That way, if we miss, uh, they either are going upfield or they're running right into us rather than into the play. And so it's a good example of, of doing just enough right here. And the running back does a good job of getting off and making a good run out of it. So watching slow motion here, see right there, guard gets a good chip, just enough, the running back sneaks away, follows uh, the tight end who's looking for first threat inside, finds someone, and that's, you know, it's interesting when you get out in this spot, now the running back, maybe if he if he bounces it outside, we could go for six here, but it's tough to read it in real time. He's, he's taught to just stay, keep his head down and, and get five yards most of the time, so um, that's something that we can evolve to. Maybe if the tight end picks up this guy instead, we might have a good lane, but regardless, we had a good 13 yard gain on this play. And so we'll come back one more time, just watch it real time. So running back does a good job, step to the play, away from the play direction, and then cut back. Just like we talked about too, on the field, um, front side, we're gonna be down, gap down, gap down, 
and then pull. And then we got to make sure that this tackle secures uh, where we're pulling from. And these receivers are all, receivers are also inside out here. And so we'll watch this front side. We'll watch the line now and see how it looks here. Good aggressive downhill. Um, they're taught to combo block here and work to second level. So they're going to work second level here. Counter can be muddy and messy. And it's all about good timing, and so it doesn't look pretty all the time. But this is the type of wall we wanted to build here and creating a great running lane for a really against a really aggressive defense. And this is why this play worked well quite a few times against this opponent. Okay, so here we're going to look at the play action off of our GY counter. So we're lined up in uh, 12 personnel looks. We have two tight ends here. One's on the line of scrimmage, one's off as a wing. And what we're going to do is we're going to sell like we are running counter. And we're going to pull this backside guard. And then we're also going to look like we're pulling this tight end. And he's going to find somewhere to leak out here. And what we want to do is we want these linebackers to obviously get sucked in and think that we're running counter and allow us to be able to block uh, the box here with our uh, seven blockers that are going to stay in because our running back's going to stay in as well and give our quarterback time to boot and then read the three receivers. And so we'll do a flood concept. So this Z receiver, he's going to do what we call a crack corner and he's gonna to try to draw the corner and the uh, free safety in with him and uh, plant and then turn and gain some leverage. But we want this uh, slot receiver, our H, he's gonna take an inside release and then work out uh, kind of the mid-level and then our tight end is gonna be the short throw. And so our quarterback's gonna sell play action here and then he's gonna boot this way. And when he boots, if the timing's right on the routes, he should have all three receivers in his line of sight, and he can uh, see which one's open. If the if the our Z receiver, our outside receiver here is open, we want to take a shot and throw it to him. But it also, again, depends on down and distance and other things like that. So we might uh, tell the quarterback, "Hey, we just need to get seven yards here. It's third and long. Like, let's if the H is there, throw it. Or if we're reading a defense, obviously it's play by play, opponent by opponent uh, type of deal. But uh, we'll go ahead and watch this from, in real time, and there's things that we can improve on, but overall this turned out to be a big play for us. So he hits our Z receiver, and he's able to take it for a huge touchdown, 72-yard touchdown, uh, big play. And so we come back here, we'll watch in slow motion. So they almost run into each other, so we got to tighten up our routes. The H needs to take more of an inside release, um, but our Z receiver does a good job on his route and getting open. Um, yeah, our, our in fact, our slot receiver didn't do it right. He's supposed to take an inside release, and that'll help with the timing better. And our tight end's got to do a little bit better job of getting across here faster, uh, but our quarterback did a good job and reading the defense and being able to uh, find the open guy. And fortunately, our, we had one receiver run it correctly and, and get open. And this is what we want here with this, this route. If you watch this safety, we put him in a precarious spot um, because he's, he's reading the quarterback and reading what's in front of him. And he thinks... If he's seeing that, I mean, he makes the wrong read here and jumps on this receiver when really he doesn't need to because these two defenders are in the passing lane. We wouldn't throw to him at all because it would be too too risky. And so because he jumps, fortunately for us, we have an open deep ball, and it works to our advantage. And that's just a lot of repetition. That's just these receivers and quarterbacks having good chemistry with, the, with each other and understanding in the game, you know, how we do it. And obviously, I mean, you can watch this. It's it's not it's not necessarily pretty up here. It's a counter play action. It gets muddy, but we have enough time and we have enough uh, things to work out to make it a play. And that's what's that's what's so great about football is it doesn't have to always be perfect or pretty. 
we just sometimes we ask our our guys to be athletes and our line does a decent job and our quarterback does a good job booting out and he's throwing you know away from his strength and he makes a really good throw and setting up and puts it right on the money and so this ends up being a really good play for us and we love to love these types of play action just to help keep the the defense honest and help us open up our playbook so that we can run in pass and take some shots all right so here we're going to go over a little bit of chalk time just to draw it up uh, how we want to block our counter uh, with our g and y and so we're playing maybe like a 4-2 4-3 defense here and so we're in our uh, two tight end look with uh, we call our tight ends our x and our y and they're going to be a tight end wing combo over here and so our receivers will always have a job on a run play and so they have to know uh, they might have a pre-snap option uh, where they can run a route and instead of us uh, running the, the ball we'll, we can throw it to them out quick uh, but on our counters we have them run uh, make sure that they're always blocking they have to block uh, because we're coming back uh, towards their way and so our receivers always have a job they can't just stand around and do nothing so right here first threat second threat they're going to be blocking so we're going to be running uh, away from our uh, tight end strength. And so if we get a look like this, we're going to be down, down, down on the front side here. And so they're gap down, gap down, gap down. And so depending on what happens with this, and if we get him and a three tech instead of a one here, they're going to combo and work to this backside backer. Okay, but really this tackle is probably going to end up helping here here and then they're going to work to this backside backer. This center's got a really important job because if they give a three tech here, so giving us an, an overlook to our tight end side, uh, he has to make sure this guy does not get across his face because if we're going to be pulling here and we're going to be kicking the end, and if this guy blows it up, um, our play is dead from the beginning. Okay. Same thing with our tackle here. He's got to go inside out inside out with our tight end and so their gap inside work out kind of like a fan block and so nothing comes back side and then we're going to bring our Y and he's going to pull and wrap and ideally he wants to seal that uh, that backer so then our tailback is taking two steps play side looking like he's going to run this way uh, and then he's going to cut back and follow uh, that Y puller and so that's what we want to do. He's got to find a seam. We say look somewhere between the B and C gap because these gaps all change, especially when we go down, down, down. We can't just say like a zone scheme or something like that where you just hit the B gap. This is going to get, you got to find your lane. And so this tailback's got to have really good vision, really good patience. The big thing we talk about with screens and counters is it's all about timing. So it's all about timing. It could look like controlled chaos. And just like the play we saw on film, uh, it looks like that guy coming off the edge is going to blow the play up and then we end up taking it for 13. So it's all about patience and timing and uh, we just have to, to make sure everybody's doing their job and we got to at least get hands on our guys. If they are over aggressive flying up field, say this end comes screaming up almost like a pass rush, well that's fine. We'll chip them just like we did on, that, on, the, on the video. Okay, And then if these guys go screaming inside because they see the back going there, perfect. Create all this mess right here create a huge wall and then uh, create a big wall right there for us to do and use the defense's momentum against them. If they want to be over aggressive, we know how to manipulate that uh, and do that. And so that's how we run that. Um, and then we obviously have the play action off of it. And so if we flip it, we'll go the other way like with, uh, say we go the other side. So we have our X and Y. have our H and Z so we're still gonna go if we're running the play action off of it we still have down 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 we're still gonna pull this guy and instead of kicking the end he wants to work and kind of seal this edge okay they're gonna hinge or fan block right here to make sure we have get our uh, quarterback enough time this guy is gonna come and act like he's wrapping and then he's gonna leak out this H is inside then out and the Z, I don't have enough board space, is doing a crack corner, and then he's going to go deep on it. We're going to sell like we're running the counter, and then we're going to boot out of it. And so that gives us a nice flood concept, and when we run it right, 
quarterback has a great vision of all three, one, two, three routes, and he can see uh, really easily while he's booting which one's open, and we're going to get that, that guy the ball. So thanks a lot for listening. It's uh, fun talking about this stuff. I'm excited to be considered for the AFCA 35 under 35. Thank you so much for all the committee does, the convention, uh, the association has been such a, a benefit in my coaching career. So I wish everyone the best uh, this upcoming season. Thanks a lot.